when does baby brain development start? We, we keep moving back um, in time, but we know um, that baby, babies' brains begin to develop certainly well before birth. And we think of it as kind of this blueprint assembly process where we want to put all the component parts together so that when the baby's born, they're ready to be able to interact with their world, which as we know is so critical for their um, healthy development. Mm -hmm. So in the first trimester, um, basically all the brain cells, all the neurons that we're ever going to have are produced during that period of time. So there's a masses, massive amount of production of brain cells. Now, brain cells don't um, arise where they're gonna end up. Like I was born in New Jersey, I live now here in California. I migrated mm -hmm. and, and that's a familiar concept to uh, most people in the United States now. Brain cells are produced in one location of the developing embryo, and then they actually have to migrate. Um, and, and in human brain development, it, they have to migrate and move over very long um, uh, distances mm -hmm. to get to their right location. Mm -hmm. So that's the second part of the process generate all of these brain cells, and then you have to get them to move to the right location. Now, why does that matter? Well, it's almost like real estate, location, location, mm -hmm. location. Mm -hmm. Where you end up being located as a neuron in, in many ways kind of defines what you're going to be doing mm -hmm. um, in terms of processing information, the kinds of, of connections that you're going to make with other neurons. It's not a process that starts out very general and becomes specific. From the very beginning, we uh, create this, the scaffold, this blueprint that has a lot of specificity to it. The neurons that are gonna be processing information for what we see, what we hear, they start making those connections with each other in a very kind of elementary way and during the second trimester. So the brain cells are generated, they're produced, they move to the right location, and even as they're moving, they're beginning to create these relationships of connecting up to the right uh, um, uh, partner so that they can process inf information. Mm -hmm. And what we used to believe is that that process of processing information really didn't occur until birth. Mm -hmm. What kind of information could a fetus in, in the mom in the womb be processing? Well, it turns out, that um, around mid-gestation or getting towards the third trimester, there is already information being processed. Um, the fetus can hear. Mm -hmm. The sounds are muffled because they're immersed in fluid, but they can hear. Uh, they're not seeing anything. Um, but, you know, their eyes, you know, the part of the eye that has to do with um, being able to see the retina actually has a spontaneous activity that's important in getting the visual system to be wired up. Mm -hmm. They can feel. Mm -hmm. And so their sensory systems in particular are getting put together um, starting in the third uh, trimester. And, and by birth, they're ready to go. Mm -hmm. We already know that, that a newborn within um, minutes of being born is feeling, is hearing, um, pretty soon after that, they're, you know, within the first few hours, their eyes are open and they're beginning to, to see things. And, and now here's this whole new world that they're um, experiencing. So we go from build, you know, creating the, the, the brain cells, the neurons that are so critical for processing all this information to getting them to move to their proper locations, which is part of the process of getting them to wire up with the right partners, and then beginning to utilize those, um, those connections, what we call sy synapses. Mm -hmm. Now things are pretty slow in terms of connections in the first, uh, in, in the first few trimesters. Starting about the 30, 30th week, 32nd week, it just takes off like a rocket ship. Um, we start, or the, the fetus, I should say, starts building around 700 connections a second. That's amazing. Yeah. 700 a second. So it's a process that, that just takes off incredibly rapidly, and that continues, mm -hmm. that process of making connections, what we call synaptogenesis, making these synapses 
through the first two to three years of life where there's just a massive amount of, of organization and connections that are being made. And if you think about it, of course, that makes a whole lot of sense because think about the amount of information that that individual, that that person is going to have to process in their lifetime.